Hello and welcome back. Happy New Year to everyone. Wow, it's 2023 already and I cannot believe we're already 14 days into the new year. But I thought I'd start off this year with this vlog, my very first vlog of the year, because I wasn't as consistent towards the end of last year, but I've promised to try and um, stay more consistent this year. So today's vlog is basically me getting ready chit chatting with you catching up got a few things that i wanted to show you a few new luxury purchases and we are actually going out to see lewis capaldi tonight so we're going to go out for dinner and then see lewis capaldi performing this is like my first concert since i don't even know how long maybe before covid i haven't been to a concert in such a long time so I don't really know what to expect. We are standing as well, which I don't know how I feel about that because, yeah, I don't know. It'll be fine. I'm sure we'll have a good time. But we are actually running late, which is why I'm sat here getting ready. But I wanted to show you some new makeup that I had received from Giorgio Armani and I thought we could try it out together on camera. I've heard a lot of good things about Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, so I'm gonna try it out. So last year, towards the end of the year, it got really hectic for me. I was just busy working back and forth in London, then doing content from home, and I actually got quite ill, so I was like bedbound for a week. I don't know what happened. It wasn't COVID, but it was something that... I, I just don't know what happened to me. I just couldn't move. My body was aching. I had a sore throat, and I just like had a really bad temperature. But I was fine towards Christmas, which was nice because we got together with the family and had some really fun few days. And we didn't really do anything for New Year. Uh, Josh and I just stayed at home. We bought a shisha machine thing and yeah, it didn't go as planned. This was our first time actually building one um, and we didn't really know what we were doing. So I think we're gonna have a look on YouTube or Google and see if we can make it work this time. Um, but if you've got any tips, let us know. So I'm going to start off with this Luminous Silk um, Hydrating Primer. Now I'm really bad. Oh, God, it's coming out really quickly. I'm really bad because I never actually wear primers. I just go in with SPF and it's quite thick. Uh, SPF and moisturizers, and I never usually use primers. And I know all the makeup artists out there are probably thinking to do that but it's just not been something that I've ever done. I'm just gonna clip my hair back because I've just flesh flesh freshly blow dried it using my air wrap. It's a bit wild at the moment but it'll sort itself out it usually does. Um and I think I'm just gonna go in with my fingers. I'm not really sure whether you apply primer with your fingers or whether you go in with a brush but this is my first time applying it. It's not scented and it feels quite, it actually feels like silk, it feels really nice on the skin. My skin's not been doing so well, I've been breaking out everywhere, I don't know why. I don't know if it's hormonal, if it's things that I've been eating, I have been eating quite a lot of cheese and I know that that can cause breakout but it's just been stressing me out even more so I think that's why I've been breaking out on my forehead as well. But if you've got any tips or any advice as to anything that can help to calm acne then leave them in the comments below because I'm always trying new remedies. In fact there is a product that I've been using and it's called the Ultimate Stinky Pimple Treatment by Dr Barbara Sturm. This has helped me so much and it's really helped to reduce the inflammation of, the, um, of my acne and the only bad thing that I will say is, is that it can kind of like dry your skin out. I guess that's the whole point of it, to like strip your skin from any excess oils. Um, but I did find that I was having like, I had dry patches around my um, face. It's not so bad now I'm, and it's not, it's something that can be covered up. So I'm going to start off with my Lancome concealer because this is something that I use all the time. And I'm just going to cover all my pimples and any redness like I literally apply it everywhere because my full face is just like a pimple at the moment it's just so annoying okay I think that'll do so I've actually got two 
foundations here in two completely different shades. One is 5.8 and one is 7.5. I'm not sure how different they are, but I will test them out on my hand before going straight into my face. I need to keep an eye out on the time as well because I've got dinner booked at five. And I'm always running late and we need to book a taxi as well. I always try and give myself enough time, but it never ends up working out that way. This concealer has a really nice coverage, but because my spots or pimples are quite raised, you can still see them, which is not great, but it's normal. I have actually been trying to drink more bottled water as well, rather than drinking directly from the tap. I don't know if that's going to make any difference at all, but I've also found that staying in London <laughs> makes my skin worse. My whole body, in fact, I don't know if it's London water, but every time I have a shower, wash my hair, I just find that my skin is super dry, so I'm always having to use creams and body oils whilst I'm there. And I don't know if that's affecting my face as well. I saw a TikTok of this lady using bottled water while she was staying in London. She was using bottled water to wash her face. And I mean, I was there for a week and there's no way in hell that I'm gonna spend money on bottled water just to wash my face with. I've never actually done my makeup like on this camera before so I'm not quite sure how it's gonna look and this lighting as well isn't the best. I wasn't really expecting to do my makeup on camera, I just thought I'd show you all what my new makeup looks like. I've actually got this on my eyes. I literally just put a tiny amount of eye makeup on. I don't really like wearing a lot of eye makeup apart from mascara and eyeliner. You'll always find me wearing eyeliner. I just find that because my eyes are quite big, I like to make them look a little bit more feline, if that makes sense. And then mascara. I do usually wear lashes as well, but I just couldn't be bothered today. Um, so I've just got some Lancome uh, mascara on and a MAC eyeliner and then that Giorgio Armani um, liquid eyeshadow. Um, it's quite nice actually. It's quite it's like a mauve kind of colour. Um, I will experiment with it at another time but I just literally don't have the time today. So I'm going to go in with the foundation next. I'm going to have a look at what the lighter shade looks like first. Um, I might compare them. I might actually have to mix them because sometimes, majority of the time, I cannot find the perfect match for me. Especially when I come back from holiday and I'm like, what darker. This primer actually feels really nice on my skin. That was the... Hmm. Ooh, I think that's... Yeah, I think that one's a little bit too light. No. Just wipe this off. Yeah, I actually think the darker shade is better. So I think I'm 7.75 in the Armani foundation. I'm not sure whether, well, I'm hoping it doesn't oxidize because that's another problem that I have. I'll try a new foundation and I'll actually wear it out and I'll find that after a few hours it's oxidized and it just looks a completely different color. This looks okay. Even if it doesn't, I don't have time to change it now, so I'm just gonna go with it. So I want to do a little unboxing after this as well because I bought a few items, luxury items, for myself and I got some gifted um, as Christmas presents and I thought I'd just show you all what I've got. Okay, I think this looks really nice. It looks, it actually looks like skin. But I've heard so many reviews about this foundation, I can't believe this is my first time trying it. Usually when something's a bestseller, I will go out and just buy it, just because I want to see what the hype is about. But so far, I'm super impressed. My skin is glowing, and I didn't actually apply that much. Oh my gosh, I drop everything. I am like the clumsiest person ever. And we have cream carpets and a couple of weeks ago, just before Christmas, I spilt, um, I spilt my Dior foundation on the carpet and I thought it would be clever to use micellar water to clean it up and it just made everything so much worse. So if you ever spill foundation on your carpet, 
do not use micellar water. I cannot believe how like a little spill that was like this big and like, I turned it into something so much more so never use micellar water because it doesn't work. Okay I want to quickly contour. I'm just going to use my foundation brush with this Pearl Beauty cream contour. Yeah, I'll probably put a lot on my brush. Yes. And this is why I'm not a makeup artist. I subscribe to Nikki Makeup's um, masterclass and I watched a couple but I need to get back on it because I feel like that will really help. That will really help me improve my makeup skills. Okay, I've not done I've done a bad job there. It's so funny because when I was younger and I, knew, and I was in high school, I'd say like start of high school, I literally used to wake up at 5, 6 a.m. just to do my hair and makeup for the day and now I couldn't think of anything worse. Sometimes I wake up that late that I have to do my makeup on the train um, and it always ends up looking so much better than it would when I'd sit down at home at my dressing table and do it. I don't know if sometimes we think about things too much, I know I do and I procrastinate and then I've got too many products and I, like, I try and use everything and it just ends up being a disaster but this is such a, a nice um, cream contour I'm wearing the shade medium I've really been loving the Fenty Beauty banana powder I used to use the Laura Mercier one, the translucent powder but I just feel that this is so much nicer so I'm using a powder puff. I actually bought these on Amazon after seeing a few people post about them on TikTok. I literally spend my whole, like my entire time traveling or if I'm sat down, I spend my entire time on TikTok. That is all I do. And it's more so like watching other people and it's not necessarily nail videos. If you follow me on Instagram, um, you'll see that majority of my content is about my work. I feel like because everything I do work-wise is nail related, I just use TikTok to kind of switch off and watch funny videos and makeup videos and just daily vlogs. I'm just so interested in other people's lives. I don't know, I just find it entertaining. I prefer watching TikTok to watching TV. I can never find a good TV show. And when I do find one, I literally just binge watch. I recently just finished watching Ginny and Georgia and I literally binge watched that in like a day and a half. And then before that I was watching um, Desperate Housewives and I cannot believe I've only just finished watching it. I didn't even like realize how big of a deal it was. Um, but yeah, I got some of my friends onto it who hadn't already watched it and they were super impressed as well. But can you see how smooth that has made my under eyes look? I actually got tear trough filler just before Christmas, I think it was, and oh, it's the best thing ever. My under eyes weren't super bad, but when, when I'm on camera and I've got the bright lights, you can literally see every imperfection. And it was just something that irritated me, so I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna get it done. And look at how smooth my under eyes are. I just am so pleased that I had it done. I am quite squeamish, I hate needles, but as long as I close my eyes and I can't feel anything, and it's, it's fine. I went to Derma Plus Aesthetics, which again, you'll find on my Instagram. Whenever I refer to anything, there's 99% of a chance that you'll be able to find it on my Instagram because I'll share everything. Well, I try and share everything on there. Try not to overdo it sometimes because I'm still in that like mindset where I'm like, am I overdoing it? Do people actually care? Do people want to see it? Yeah, if I think it's good, I will share it. I'm gonna go in with this Dior bronzer. It's the, I don't even, it's a face and, face and body powder, no powder um, bronzer. It's so nice. Again, another TikTok find. Oh, it's so nice and I just find that using products like this 
they're just so lightweight and they're easy to build up and they leave a natural sort of like finish. I love how I said I'd be 10 minutes because I'm not doing a full face of makeup but is this considered a full face of makeup? I did my eyes off camera just because I, I wasn't going to film um, and sometimes I like to do my eye makeup first but yeah this is me um, my simple makeup <laughs> okay now I'm gonna use the Dior blush rosy glow I have been using a lot of um, powder products recently and I don't know why I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but there was a time where I was just using cream products only and I found that by the end of not even by the end of the day, after a couple of hours, I'd just be a grease ball. My face would just get really greasy. And I do set my makeup once it's done with the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray, but even then, my face just, it's just so greasy. Lips is the next thing. And I'm gonna use, my lips are quite dry, but it's fine. I'm using the MAC Cork Lip Liner. So I'm li lining my lips, but I'm not really lining them I'm like diffusing the liner out because I just want this to be quite a subtle kind of look I mean it's the Louis Capaldi concert so I don't really know what people are going to be wearing I'm just wearing this like jumper and some jeans and like my leather trench but I don't know if, I mean I'm not going dressy anyway I don't know what other people will be so this is the lipstick that I was sent it's such a nice colour just made a mess of that but Let's just try and fix it with a lip liner. I think I need to get my eyes checked again because <laughs> I'm looking in the mirror and I'm looking in the camera but I just feel like I can't see anything. Maybe the light is blinding me. I had laser eye surgery I think as soon as I turned 18 and it lasted for five years-ish and my eyesight was perfect. I had 20-20 vision. It was like the best thing that I could have ever done because my vision was so bad to the point that if I'd put my glasses down, I'd be tapping around to feel if they were there because I just physically couldn't see them. Um, and then throughout lockdown, my vision just deteriorated and I don't know if that was because I was spending a lot of time like concentrating, like doing nails um, or on my phone or watching TV or whatever it was. Um, I just started getting really bad migraines and then it turns out that my vision um, has deteriorated and now I have to wear glasses. Not permanently, it's not super bad, it's quite stable at the moment, but it's not ideal. Like, I spent a lot of money getting that done and I at least expected it to last. But this is the lip colour. What do you think? I'm not mad about it. It looks, it looks quite nice, quite subtle. I think that'll do. Right. Lastly, I'm gonna set my face with this Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. This is literally the best setting spray I have ever used. It gives you skin that worn in look. You know, after you've been wearing your makeup for a couple of hours and everything's just kind of like melted in together, that's the kind of look this gives you without having to wait a couple of hours. So, yep. That is my makeup done for now. I'm gonna put on a little bit of perfume before we go. So this is like my go-to scent at the moment. Maison Francis Kerdijan Paris. Is that how you pronounce it? My pronunciation is so bad, but yeah, satin oud. This is so nice and every time I wear it, I get compliments. To be fair, when it comes to scent and smelling nice, I always get compliments and I think that's because I literally wear a lot. Right, okay, so what I wanted to do was I wanted to show you all some of my luxury purchases. So the first thing is my new Prada Femme bag. Now, I originally wanted the Clio bag, I don't know if you've seen that, if not, I'll insert an image up here. Yeah, I decided to get this in the end because it's just more of a classic design and I just feel like this won't go out of fashion as quick as the Clio because I feel like the Clio was, it was like the it bag for 2022 and I just don't know whether that trend's gonna continue. 
so I decided to go for this it's so nice the strap is adjustable um, and can be extended as well but looks super cute and can be worn day and night which is what I wanted so that's the first thing really 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 love this and it's something that I will keep forever next up if you follow me on TikTok or Instagram you will have seen actually I don't know whether to keep this to last I'm gonna keep this one to last I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you something else so I got some new Fendi heels I wanted some monogram heels for the spring summertime because I don't have anything that's a light colour and again another present that I asked for I always tend to ask or tell people what I want for Christmas birthdays anything because I'd rather have something that I really want than I have to go back and return something or pretend to like something this is just me this is what I do and I've always done this um, but it works out in the end because I always end up with something that I really like so these are my new heels what do you think I am in love this monogram is I think it's suede and the inside you've got a little bit of leather and then it's suede again and a little cut out Fendi F's in the heel I just think they're really pretty they can be worn with jeans with dresses they are just super cute now the only problem with these was the sizing and the heel height now I am a true UK size 6 which is an EU 39 the majority of my heels are an EU39 and I never have to size up or down. Now these <laughs> cause me a little bit of bother because I've actually now got size 5 in these which is an EU38. I've never ever fit into a size 5 before in heels or anything. Um, now I don't know if that's because of the heel height and because these are like a 4.2 inch heel. Uh, which is a lot higher than I would usually wear but I just love these so much I was like I'm gonna make it work yeah I don't know whether it's because the heels are super high that it pushes your foot forward and um, I had like a little gap at the back and I was like well my foot's not secure so I'm probably not gonna be able to walk properly so I sized down and these fit perfectly they are so nice and again just oh, look at them going to Paris next month we'll be vlogging and might take these bad boys if the weather's nice i'm not going to wear these in the rain i mean i probably will at some point but for now i'm going to keep them for summer or spring or when it's not raining if you have seen on my tiktok and instagram i showed a sneak preview to what's in here now i'll start off with the small purchase this was an impulse buy I literally stood there in the shop and was like waiting for my other item to be wrapped and I saw this and I was like you know what I might as well get it because well you'll see why this is my new card holder something I didn't need but I really wanted and it comes in a cutely gift wrapped box and I went for the green this is one of their most popular colours and um, if you don't know the brand, it's Goya. I think that's how you pronounce it. Again, excuse my pronunciation, I'm not the best. So green is definitely their most popular colour and it's always sold out. So when, this, when I saw this and it was the last one in, I just instantly thought, you know what, just get it. So yeah, what do you think? You can fit four cards uh, to either side and then some in the middle I actually think that this you can probably fit more than four because it's quite spacious some of my card holders like I really have to squeeze my cards in but this one is super it's quite soft it's soft leather and canvas but yeah that's the first thing that I got the main event something that I have wanted for a while now and again it's not what I thought I would go for but I'll just show you how it comes so you get this big gift bag and you get your item in a dust bag now I was a little disappointed with this because I would have expected for such a luxury brand um, that you'd get 
a nice gift box. I mean, I did for my card holder, but I didn't, I didn't for this. And if you haven't already guessed, it's a bag. So here it is, my Artois MM bag that has a zip and leather corners here. Now, I originally wanted the black on black or the black on brown and although they didn't have it in stock and this was the only one in, that wasn't the reason why I got this bag. But I did, I did actually try on the black and I tried this on at the same time and I just found that this bag, it's just a little whiter and I just feel like I can wear this in summer and winter. Whereas the black, although it is a classic colour, um, I just thought that I have so many black bags, I just wanted something slightly lighter. Again, it is, I mean, it is a dark bag, but just look, it's like a super cool grey colour with the canvas. And I'll show you the inside. But yeah, I was like, I had my, I had my heart set on the black, and then when I just saw them side by side, I was, I just had to go for uh, the grey. Now, this is what comes in the bag, so they like fill it with this plastic hair type bag things and this is the inside of the bag it's pretty plain and then you've got um, an inside pouch here which has got the canvas monogram going on but yeah this is just it's just a nice casual everyday tote bag that I needed I really wanted a bag with a zip because my Louis Vuitton one it was just driving me insane I was traveling with that for the past few years taking it with me sorry to London and back and I just I just didn't feel safe with it because of it not having like a zip closure if I left it unattended which I would never you I would never do but you you don't know what's going on around you at all times um I just knew that the next bag that I got a tote bag would have to have a zip so I'm glad that this one's got a zip you have three months after purchasing to decide whether you want your initials on the bag now you can get the initials on the outside or on the inside here. When I saw them um, on the iPad, the lady was showing me, they didn't really look as good as I had expected on this colour. So I don't know whether to leave it plain or get my initials put on it. So if you think I should get my initials on this bag, let me know because I'm still 50-50 about it. I have a while to decide. Um, and yeah, I'm just so happy that I finally got my hands this bag and this size as well because these bags sell like hotcakes. This will pretty much go with all my outfits because I tend to wear a lot of black and neutral kind of colours and it goes well with like jeans and something casual. So yeah, this is what I got myself. So yeah, that these are my recent luxury purchases. Let me know your thoughts. I'm going to Paris in February with some girlfriends, so I'm going to vlog that and we're going to do some vintage shopping because Paris apparently has some amazing vintage stores. I have been to Paris a few times now, but like when I was younger, so it's not something that I would have done back then. And then I went last year, but that was for work, so I was literally in and out. So I never really had a chance to look around. So if you've got any recommendations for restaurants, um, shopping, or even things to do in general, please let me know because I love to plan, and um, I'm a planner, so I will have a full itinerary for everyone ready before we go. And it's nice to, you know, get some reviews on some places um, that you guys have been to as well. So if you can send me some recommendations, that would be amazing. But yeah, I think I've been speaking for way too long now. I need to book a taxi and get into town so that we can enjoy our dinner before the show. Um, I'll take you with me and try and vlog as much as possible. So, see you when we're at dinner.
when I imagined the opening night of my Sellout Arena tour, this is what I was thinking. That's a lot more wholesome. That's what I'm all about. I was getting kind of used to being so in love. Um, we just got back home and that was an insane show. Actually, give me a sec, I need to take these out because I cannot speak. Finally. Okay, I just took my Invisalign out because I just cannot speak with them in. Finally home, that was an insane show. Like, Lewis Capaldi really knows how to put on a show. He was funny as usual. Everyone was, like, emotional. Like, my eye makeup's kind of, like, smudged. I wasn't actually crying, but maybe my eyes were watering a bit. But, yeah, that was insane. And he had Ray on. Um, Ray on the show as well as an opening act and she's an independent artist and you will have heard some of her songs because they've gone like TikTok viral but yeah it was so good and yeah I'm tired now I need to take off my makeup but I just wanted to show you guys look at how good this foundation still looks I am so impressed this is the first time that I've worn the Armani uh, Luminous Silk foundation with the primer um, and I am so please, it's just all melted in and made my complexion look clear and everything's just super glowy so I'll definitely be using this again. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed this vlog, there will be many more coming up soon. Um, make sure you like, share and subscribe and if you want to keep up with me on other channels you can follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Iram Shelton, I'll leave the names below here, I mean it's just my name. Uh, it's the same on every platform, but yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye